In front of me, I have a range of the small Crown hand saws. Um, Crown is a wonderful tool making company from Sheffield in England and all of these are still made in England. These saws are um, all designed for quite small work and the ones I have here are gent saws in three different sizes. I have a model making saw, a little flush cut saw and a veneer inlay saw. And we'll go through all of the applications for these kind of saws and this type of work that they're designed to do. So these three here are gent saws in three different sizes. Um, as you get bigger, from the smallest to the largest, a few things change. The, uh, the steel itself gets thicker. So I think this is about 0.8 of a mil. Oh, this one from memory is about 0.5 and I think this one goes down to about 0.4. So that means obviously that you can do super fine cuts. I mean all of them are pretty fine saws, but um, the smallest one just allows you to do cuts with a, a far narrower curve. The other thing that changes on these saws is that the uh, teeth per inch gets finer and finer, obviously towards the smaller end of the saws. I think this is uh, 25, 17 teeth per inch and, and 15 from memory. Even at 15 teeth per inch, this is not a coarse saw. It won't cut rapidly through large chunks of timber and there are plenty of other saws that will do that much more efficiently. But these are really good for fine detailed work where you need really accurate cuts. Some of the applications that people might use these gent saws, and this applies to some of these other crown saws as well, are really fine uh, building applications like model making, architectural models, doll houses, some fine musical instruments, uh, small box making or even maybe making small wooden parts for delicate clocks and that sort of thing. Anything where the parts are quite small and you really want to do a, a fine cut that just wouldn't be possible on a, like a really coarse tooth saw or really any other power tool. So some of the other features of these saws that make them uh, ideal for using in this small type of work is the actual depth of the cut on these blades is really narrow on all of them. And what that means is that the blade is really well supported along the back by this steel ridge. It means there's not going to be very much flex, that's going to stay super straight in the work and that's going to help you do those really fine cuts that you're trying to do and keep them really, really straight. One thing you'll notice about the larger gent saw that doesn't apply to these smaller ones is it actually has this offset handle. That means that the uh, support behind the blade as well as the handle stays well out of the way of the blade which will allow you to do flush cuts. What they also add to this saw is the ability to flip the blade around which allows you to do flush cuts from either the left or the right. If you're trying to get into a really tight spot and you can't access it from one side or the other, this just gives you a lot more options uh, that you just might not have with a saw like that won't allow you to cut flush against the surface. So the other obvious thing to note is that um, the length of the blade decreases with these saws. So there is a range of sizes and um, you know if you have a really fine job where you need to get into a tight spot this is going to give you far more access than one of these larger ones which might get in the way. So there's a range of sizes you can play around with them, choose the one that will be most appropriate for the job and if you are doing really fine work like model making you'll be able to think of a thousand uses for these. So the next saw I want to play with is uh, actually called a model maker's saw. The applications for this are pretty much similar to all of the gent saws, so you know architectural models, small work where you are using really small bits of timber. There are a few ways that this saw differs. Um, the first is that the blade is actually even less deep than the, than the gent saws and what that means is they can actually make the blade far less thick even than the finest gent saw. So this blade is about 0.3 of a mil thick which is super fine and that means that the cuts that you're creating are so fine. It's like a, a hair's cut through the timber and it means that you can just be so accurate and not lose any stock, do some really fine work on, on nice tiny pieces of timber. It has about 17 teeth per inch so again super fine saw, you're not going to be cutting through any big lumps of hardwood with this but for our fine model making this is going to just give you uh, a lot more control for really nice tight cuts. So the next saw uh, in this uh, Crown Hand Tools range is a flush cut saw. It's a super handy saw for a pretty specific application which 
is it's really flexible. It is a super handy little saw designed for a very specific job, which is to make cuts on the surface of the timber. If you have a protruding piece, that might be a little piece of dovetail or a piece of dowel. Yes, yeah, super fine teeth for just like really, really smooth cuts that are exactly on the surface of the face of the timber that you're trying to preserve. It won't scratch the face of that timber because the teeth are just perfectly in line with the plane of this saw blade. And yeah, they're fantastic to use. The saw in this range is a really specialized little saw called a veneer inlay saw. The way this differs from the other ones, apart from just being generally tiny, is that the top surface of the blade here actually isn't flat. Now all these other saws, that blade surface is dead flat like a ruler, and this has a slight crown on it. And what that means is when you're sawing really, really fine inlay pieces, it allows you to make some cuts on the very surface that you're working on without these edges gouging into the timber at all. There is another veneer inlay saw that um, you can grab at TimberCon as well that's a double-sided one and it has uh, a coarser blade on one side than the other. I just picked this one up to, to do a really quick demonstration today but there is more available if you do a lot of that kind of work. So these crown hand saws are fantastic little tools, really versatile with a range of really specific uses that you just can't get with a whole bunch of other general saws. Uh, if you're doing this kind of fine timber work, you'll, you'll certainly know applications when you, you'll, you could use these over and over again. Um, you can grab the whole range of crown hand tools at TimberCon. You can grab them from their website at timbercon.com.au or in either of their stores which are in Perth and in Melbourne.